The announcement made last few weeks ago was an eye-opener for many of us because it gave us an idea on how we better choose our location if you are moving here to Canada. So in this video, we are going to talk about the unemployment rate. Hi, my name is Coach MC and you are watching Ansley Canada. Make sure that you subscribe if you want to see more videos about jobs, programs here in Canada, especially if you're an international student. Many of us immigrants, we always choose the big cities. Traditionally, we always think that Oh, many jobs will be available in big cities like Toronto, Calgary, Vancouver, Edmonton, Montreal. But we didn't realize that the labor market have already shifted. And as you know, having a full-time job is one of the major requirements when you are applying for your permanent residency here in Canada. So I did a little bit of research and I just want to share with you this interesting data that I found on different website it's going to be per province and i just want to share with you the cities that are worse to go to and the cities that you might be be able to consider in canada they have 6.6 .6 average unemployment rate and in this graph you can see the provinces that already surpassed the national average rate and in newfoundland you can see that it's 10 percent PEI has 8.2% and that's the main reason why as you know they have like rallies and many Canadian citizens and permanent residents in PEI already complain about temporary foreign workers, international students because they don't have enough jobs for everyone and they if they continue accepting temporary foreign workers or temporary residents it might continue to grow the unemployment rate. And if you are going to check the geography of Atlantic provinces, these provinces are so tiny compared to British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Ontario, and they cannot accommodate so many people. For me, I won't recommend this province for now, but there's a big caveat there. It really depends on your job right that's why you also need to double check the unemployment rate per industry so if ever you're going to consider atlantic provinces then maybe you can consider moncton or halifax i mean halifax has five percent right but don't go to cape breton with 11 percent unemployment rate but mc you mentioned about big provinces but why ontario alberta they're so huge but they have seven percent unemployment rate i mean that's not bad compared to other provinces right but i'm not really surprised with ontario because since the beginning like 2018 when i moved here eight out of ten like in my batch mates they they all went and studied in ontario and only few of us went to provinces like quebec nova scotia most of them they go to toronto and I'm not surprised with the unemployment that they're having right now. I mean, Thunder Bay would have below 5%, right? But then again, it depends on your job. Maybe it will be challenging for you to get an IT job in Thunder Bay compared to Toronto. I mean, in Toronto, they have 8% unemployment rate. And I know most of you in Toronto right now, international students, comment below how hard to find a job in your place i mean london kitchener i heard so many horror stories when finding a job in those places it's not easy there is like long queue whenever they have a job fair but how about alberta i thought alberta is the pre best province for for now you know what happened many vloggers many consultants always advise Alberta it's cheap to live th live there you don't pay so much taxes now because of that you advertise this province so much that it affected the job opportunities yeah you can rent for like 1200 or you don't pay so much taxes but you can't find a job but MC where should I go what places I should consider maybe check Manitoba British Columbia Quebec Saskatchewan, they're below the national average rate. And I'm surprised with BC because BC has 5%. 
You didn't see that coming, <laughs> right? You thought Alberta, but then BC got the spot, 5%. But then again, you also need to double check by region, right? In BC, there's one region, specifically the Kootenai has 6.1%. I wonder why, maybe because of the RNIP. A lot of people heard about the RNIP. Oh, it's easy to get a PR here. Come here. But then, it's a small town. Not a lot of people will be able to get or land a job there. That's why it's important to do your own research. To do your own assignment. Always double check first before moving if you can be able to find a job for yourself. One best example again will be Manitoba. Everything seems okay, right? Like BC, except Winnipeg. And if you're moving to Saskatchewan and you're not sure if you're moving to Regina or Saskatoon, maybe you should consider Saskatoon because it's below 5%. And again, this data that I'm showing you right now, it's useful, right, to decide where to go. But this is not the ultimate guide because this is just one of the factors that you should consider. Because when I was choosing between New Brunswick during that time when I was moving to Canada, I was choosing between New Brunswick and Nova Scotia. Unemployment rate was one of the factors that I looked at. It all boils down to where do you want to see yourself? Where do you want to live? Because you don't want to go to places where you're going to hate it every single day. So you have to decide if you want to fit in in one place, but then you're not really employable based on your qualifications. Maybe you might have to go back to school, upgrade your skills, get a program that is in demand in that play so you have to really fit in so I hope you guys like this video again comment below where do you want to move to canada and check the unemployment rate comment it below so it's helpful for others to to see and double check and again thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye guys